What's goody Pisces? It's your girl, Blue Phoenix. I'm back with another message. What you doing, Pisces? What you doing? Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. I'm just sitting in my backyard chilling. Got my son on the side of me. So if you hear him, that's, that's who it is. All right. <laughs> All right. If you're new here, hello, my love. Thank you so much for coming home to your home planet, baby. We've been waiting on you. And we are so glad that you finally made it home. And to all of the citizens of Planet Pisces, I love y'all. <laughs> all right. So come on in, y'all. Let's see what Message of Spirit has for us today. And some things are already popping out. All right. Pop out. Some pop out. Okay. All right, pop out. Who's gonna pop out, Pisces? What you doing? I saw the magician, the lovers. You got the high priestess already down here on the on the floor now. Okay, this your energy, Pisces. This Pisces energy, high priestess energy. Okay, but come on in, y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Go visit that real quick before we get the message. You know what I'm saying? Show your girl some love. That also helps me tap further into your situation and your energy for future readings. Okay, so with the high priestess being out here, Pisces. This message has something to do with your intuition, with your connection to the divine, okay? With your understanding of mm, things that other people don't understand is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, something about, okay, I just feel like you know it. Okay, that's what I'm hearing, like you know it, all right? So it's something about behind the veil, okay? With Pisces, with high priestess energy, it always makes me think of occult knowledge, of hidden things, right? Of secrets that others don't know that you, you know, Pisces. Sometimes it takes, you know, takes for us to, to meditate, to um connect to disconnect is what i'm hearing some of you guys could be disconnecting from people from um social media and things like that Discon i'm also hearing changing habits okay so you could be disconnecting from things from your past okay or things that you found that just no longer serve you okay it's something here about you can't take it with you okay <laughs> all right so it's like uh this could be a mindset a lover a job put the energy where it goes right because we're reading for the whole planet um if you want to get a personal reading just look down below in the description box there's a link down there um to schedule your reading okay so you got the magician on the bottom of the deck right this owl even has his wing first of all the owl always makes me think of intuition pisces okay <laughs> like goodness gracious all right and that is basically for those that may not know it's like basically following your gut what's your gut telling you right all right so something about the chakras as well maybe something with your solar plexus you could look that up p-l-e-x-u-s all right the color yellow could be significant all right Mm -hmm. All right. I also heard head, heart. Okay. So something about alignment here, Pisces, or making sure, making sure your head and your heart is in alignment or something here. Okay. Somebody's name could be Larry. Okay. Somebody could drive a truck or something like that or some, I don't know what we tell my spirit. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Anyway, come on, let's get into it. So let's see what you, uh, it's something here. You, you about to, I don't know, I don't know what you guys spy here on the bottom of the um, Cosmic Oracle deck. Pass me the other box of uh, Mac. This one? Yeah, thank you. And this is the other deck I'm using, all right, for all my tarot readers, card throwers, diviners out there that be wanting to know. All right, but yeah, we have the spy here. And then communicate up under that. Hmm, let's see. And then the King of Wands is over here, Aquarius. Nope. But an Aquarius could be significant, okay? <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Wheel of Fortune with the Justice. What is this, Pisces? This is three major arcanas for one thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this is interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight. The number eight could be significant. All right, what's funny to me is that the Wheel of Fortune in the original tarot deck is the number 10. I don't see a number on here at all, but it's only eight. It's like two things are missing or something here, okay? All right, two things are missing, all right? I don't know what that means. But okay, yeah, look, then you got the seven of cups right here. That's like kind of like illusions or confusion or, okay? All right, but we'll see what's up. We'll see, we're gonna put these back though. Let's put those back. 
we're gonna stay with the high priestess for right now so uh, spirit tell me about pisces what is the high priestess out here for for pisces i asked spirit as i was meditating pisces before i began the video i asked spirit what is this message about for pisces today what's the what's the energy here um surrounding pisces all right it's something here about figuring something out but i feel like pisces whatever this is you need to figure out is is it, you know it or something i don't know what okay what is this high priestess here for for pisces but that high priestess was the card that came out for what this uh the main theme of this reading is it's about the high priestess date night all right now with that being said the high priestess is pisces this could be this could just be you pisces and represents you in your high priestess high priest energy right okay other people some of our other people could know that you're connected or something or um that you are that you've listened to your intuition or something like that okay all right so the high priestess with date night and then communicate was out here earlier hmm give me a minute a king of wands could definitely be significant you could this you could have okay fate karma something ending and something beginning all right that cycles card always makes me feel like it's something that has occurred previously but let's see what is the high priestess with date night spirit love spell so this is someone else okay and we got gambling somebody could like to gamble okay go to casinos uh -uh, on the outside don't be playing uh. <laughs> I'm on my, on my, my arm. okay but it says problems with addiction or gambling bad finances Ugh. but what came out on top of the high priestess is date night and love spell it says you've been bewitched get ready to be wined and dined who is this king of wands energy over here pisces who is this aries leo sagittarius energy okay it doesn't necessarily don't have to be that sign right <laughs> they can be exhibiting um the energy of that sign okay so go look that up go look up you know what i'm saying what type of energy does uh aries hold you know aries is i am that's the head that's the boss you understand what i'm saying that's the first one they the last ones actually <laughs> but uh no they they the babies right um all right so spirit tell me about this let's keep the king of wands out here all right a libra could be significant you got the lovers y'all Ooh, who is this like see okay come through spirit oh no we're not doing that though y'all literally though the justice came back out the seven of cups the king of swords the knight of swords and the will of fortune let's put it back so an aquarius libra gemini could be significant here spirit tell me about this king of wands with the date night the high priestess all right somebody is taking a chance or taking a risk here uh huh. my nose is itching for y'all that don't know when i say that that's usually what happens like kind of like a confirmation from my spirit team like uh-huh yeah you're on the right track here okay you got the ace of coins this is a brand new offer this is a big ass offer too the ace of coins is an offer of stability and it's not just just like a regular ass offer like this is coming from the heavens like it comes up out the sky like you know what i'm saying this offer was i heard assisted okay like i don't know all right this could have been something you were praying about or wanting or desiring or something tell me about the king of wands please spirit for pisces <laughs> oh that's 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 quite a few all right we have the nine of cups on the bottom of the deck the nine of cups is like wish fulfillment okay <laughs> It's like somebody about to come home or something. Like somebody coming home. Okay, somebody could live out of town or something. Or somebody could have moved or something. Here, or be at a distance. It's like somebody coming home. The bed made up and everything. It looks so nice. Ooh. All right, so we got the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Coins, and the Eight of Swords. Pisces, what's up with you in doubles, okay? All right, I'm here in double for your trouble. All right, but hey, the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands is 88. Okay, 88, 44, 33, 
those numbers have been coming up a lot uh, in our readings in the past uh, few days, Pisces. But the Eight of Wands with the Eight of Swords. Let's talk about it for this King of Wands here with the Ten of Coins. All right. Give me a moment. The Eight of Wands is like, first of all, movement, right? I also think of messages, but it's like, I don't know if this person like a, um, I don't know, somebody could get a message from home is what I'm, what I'm hearing. Okay, somebody might come back home because they have to or something, or, or something like that. Okay, something about family could be um, possibly here, Pisces, for this person. What's the Eight of Swords about with the Eight of Wands? For the King of Wands. Okay, a child could be significant here for some. For this King of Wands. Somebody could, could have been playing ball or something. Somebody wasn't paying attention to somebody here. Okay, somebody could have, somebody could have got, somebody could have got hurt or something here for someone here, no? Okay, but hold on. I feel like that's specific. That's just for like a very few, I don't know. Anyway, okay, it could be somebody's birthday, somebody's child birthday or something else. Okay, birthday party or something. All right, you got liar. The way it fell was weird though, because not only, it what, what is this spirit? Divorce is on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Mm. It might be copyright to say it. <laughs> you so silly. What is it? I might kill my. Oh wow. Why? You know what? That's he said. I might kill my ex. Oh my god! What the fuck is this? <laughs> And then the divorce card came out. Oh. <laughs> uh. oh my gosh. That's my little diviner there. You understand me. Anyway, you got the death card though, literally. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> you got yeah. the death yeah. card. Yeah, I was right. Okay. All right, let me get back on track, y'all. But put that where the energy go now. I was right. All right, out that. the mouths okay. of babes. You understand me. Pay attention to the children now. All right, real talk. <laughs> Shit. All right, but wow. Okay, what is what is this? The death though. <laughs> What's the ten of coins, spirit? With all this other stuff for the king of wands. What's going on here? <laughs> what does Pisces need to know about this energy here, spirit? Y'all, the seven of cups. The seven of cups, and it fell right over here. I wish y'all could see it. I don't know if the camera will go that low, but yeah. You see, the liar is right here, and the Seven of Cups fell right over here like that. What is up with this? What is the King of Wands lying about? Oh, shit. What is this, spirit? About a family? Ooh. <sighs> Somebody might work on a boat or something, or, okay. Damn, damn. Pisces, I be trying to love and light. You know what I'm saying? Let me bring it back up a little bit, y'all. Love and light, right? You know what I'm saying? What is this? <laughs> that ain't light. That's the damn devil. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my gosh. Okay. What is the devil spirit? Oh my goodness, a Capricorn could be significant. What's going on with the King of Wands? This is a toxic connection. I don't know if this you or this they X. Okay, come on, come on outside. But um, the, the, the devil is the toxic lovers card. Okay, if you look at the regular, the Rider Waite Tarot, all right, it's Rider Waite Smith, okay, <laughs> Tarot. Um, if you look at the lovers and you look at the devil and you, first of all, they, 15 is the devil and the lovers is six 15 breaks down to a six the lovers is like the the um i mean the devil is like the toxic freaking lovers but look at them side by side you know what i'm saying and see the similarities in those cards okay that's interesting here who is the devil to uh i mean who is this with the king of wands spirit who is this with the king of wands she got some behind her back though who is this with the King of Wands? The fucking tower, and it fell on the Seven of Pentacles. 
that ain't what I meant to say. This, <laughs> oh, this I heard a long time coming. Okay, uh, the Seven of Cups. It's like somebody finna get caught in a library. Of, oh. Somebody, I'm telling you, look, you got the fool on the bottom of the deck. Somebody might have taken a risk and done some shit. I'm telling you, remember earlier, gambling was out here. Yo, what this person and done? What they done done? Oh, so shit. Hush. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. It seems obvious. Like, you know, it <laughs> Yo, when I just said, I said the seven of pentacles, right? We got divorce sale. What's up under the patience? right like this is a long time coming somebody may have been doing this for quite a while underneath that is vacation all right so some look again you may be traveling soon this person could be traveling or something oh my gosh bruv on the bottom of that is let go right it says make room for the new beginning on its way to you now what we just had the fool right there that's a new beginning right for somebody here i'm telling you but the, the fool, the energy that I'm picking up on on the fool is not just a new beginning, though. The, the energy I'm picking up on is foolish. Like, um, okay, in the original tarot deck, because <laughs> you can't really see on this one. But um, the fool is walking off of a cliff, and his little doggy is down there like, bah, 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 bah. this could even be a friend if this ain't your situation. That you might have been like, <laughs> hello, high priestess, right? Like, sis, bro, I'm telling you, 16, 16 on the clock. Bro, that's the tower the tower out here th three times okay i can't but you might have been a little white puppy dog wow, 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 wow. okay don't do it friend don't do it you know what i'm saying somebody done done it pisces somebody finna get it's finna come out though Uh, air sign could really be significant here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Then you got challenges with Mercury retrograde. We're in Mercury retrograde right now. Underneath that is caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself and spy. Someone's got their eye on you or you are doing research. Somebody's gonna find something out. What they finna find out, spirit? <laughs> okay, what they finna find out? No, hold up. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> what they finna find out, spirit? Tell about this ten of cups. I, I mean the ten of coins, all right? So it's like somebody either gonna call somebody, somebody else name, okay? It's two energies here. It's an earth sign and it's a water sign, okay? All right, this the energy. All right, we got pentacles. Now, I made a mistake with the seven of cups and said seven of pentacles. And here with the goddamn Ten of Pentacles, I made a sick, it said the Ten of Cups. It's something here about water energy and earth energy, possibly, right? This energy I'm picking up on right now. Somebody going to say somebody name. Some, something's going to come out here. <laughs> this is crazy. The Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Somebody can have military background, okay? Yo, the death again. Scorpio energy, something's about to change. Like that thing said, make room for somebody, somewhere. Something finna, something finna be, somebody, something finna, yeah, something finna be over with. What, what is this? What was, what's, what's the, what is the, the lie? What's going on here? <laughs> okay, you got the six of cups. All right, children could be significant. It fell on the high priestess though. You may have known this person or something from childhood, okay? All right, all right. <laughs> all right, or this person could be childish. Put the energy where it go, y'all. All right, high priestess. I usually pick that up from pages though, not from the six of cups. Hmm, what's the ten of coins of spirit? What's this, what they finna, what's happening? The Ten of Wands. Ten, ten, Pisces. Uh, something's gonna be over with, though. 
period the ten of wands is done i'm done i can't take this a straw that broke the camel's back it's not a bad card it's like a card of fucking release real talk now nah, once again okay it's something here about going back to the original this is gonna be the third time that i'm about to reference the original tarot deck right in the original tarot deck <laughs> The ten of wands, the dude is carrying ten wands in front of him, bent over like this, just terribly wrong. The man been carrying it wrong for the whole time. Somebody might have to go to the back doctor or something. Okay, because the way that man carrying that shit, he, even him, he got it carrying in the front. Like, instead of putting it on your shoulder, so, no, these folks is carrying big ass trees, damn near, <laughs> in the front of their body like this. Hold up, try to go do it, please, you see what happened. Back gonna hurt. Look how he carrying them. I'm gonna take that this confirmation. Hurt. I'm gonna take that as confirmation. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's something. <laughs> okay, some some truth is about to come out here. Somebody's about to find out the truth. You see that? That's the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is clarity. That's truth. Okay, I heard Revelation. The Book of Revelation could be significant. Okay, all right. Uh, one forty-four. All right. The, uh, that number could be significant. Okay. Four could be significant. All right. What is the clarity? What's that? What's up with the all this? No, we're not doing that, though. A child could really be significant here or family or something. Oh, okay, it's just two. But this is the, the emperor with the ace of cups, right? Tell me about the emperor. A child could really be significant here. 21 21 on the clock Dang. the eight of coins on the bottom of the day this may have something to do with somebody's job too okay or something like that. like somebody may have to leave work for a child or something okay all right somebody gonna have to nurse somebody or something here now or somebody's nursing i don't know pisces what's up with this emperor with the ace of cups What's this? It's like somebody finna have to y'all. Okay. Somebody head was in the clouds or something here. Somebody wasn't paying attention to something. I felt this is like I feel like I'm picking up on three or four different damn stories here, okay? <laughs> Situations. And one of them is something about a child being not being paid attention to, and somebody might have to get off of work and go take care of a child. Okay? Oh, this could have been when somebody told somebody or something. Somebody get caught in a lie here, though. Somewhere. Somebody get caught up in a lie. This is interesting. Guardian on the bottom of the deck. All right, I feel like the child is gonna be okay. You got it says a lost loved one, oh, uh, a lost loved one watches over you. Okay, so you you know you got your guardians here, right? If this your situation, I don't know. I feel like this <laughs> might be somebody friends for us. So I swear to all y'all, like I ain't over like real talk. I, I don't know. I feel that very strong. <laughs> I don't know. So maybe yo, I don't know. Somebody's energy is really in you. You're either in their energy helping this person or something i don't know or this person is really in your energy and they about to ask for your help or something if this isn't your situation like you know what i'm saying this ain't your story this is very interesting tell me about the emperor spirit what's going on with the emperor something about their job somebody might work at a barber shop or something a fire sign could be significant aries leo sagittarius okay or or work with shoes or something like that okay or, or like a, a okay i don't know what, what i'm seeing like one of them urban stores too right like they have like baseball caps and uh like cute socks for girls and shit up in it you know what i'm saying don't do that no no tell me what's coming for this emperor what's going on here with this emperor spirit all right the queen of swords <laughs> It's like, y'all, I don't know what this is. Somebody for the couple, somebody had, though. You got the three of wands on the bottom of the deck. And then the pregnancy right here. This is like expectation. Both of these are like expectation. Somebody, ooh, shit, hold on. It's like somebody is going to be waiting on somebody to get home. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at her. She is like, and she got her sword in her hand and everything. Look how he looking like, what is this? 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? She is flying on the damn butterfly. I'm telling you because she just came back from taking care of her damn child. I got hurt now. Because somebody wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't know. Sorry this is, but damn. What the hell? You see? The butterflies right there. She said, come here. Let me hop on you. <laughs> now she done came over here to the emperor. I'm telling you. This could even be a boss or a work situation for somebody here or something like that. Okay. All right, but no, this could even, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm here some shit. Even be somebody going to their boss like, hey, yo, I got to go with my child. I got to go get my child or something. Or this could be somebody younger than you or something here. Okay. Damn, where my dad at? <laughs> Somebody's going to get caught off guard. But listen, once again, look, y'all, it's a, it's a bird or something. It's like, it, it, it's okay. Whatever, whatever this is, it's like, it's okay. They're going to be fine. Stop. Right? It's like somebody here got a lot of burdens on them. No, not, not, I'm not going to say burdens, but you got a lot of responsibility. You got a lot of responsibility here, Pisces, or whoever this is. It's a lot of shit going on here. Look, the Eight of Cups, that old. It's like, go sit down and have a drink or something. I don't know what we talking about. What are we talking about? It's like somebody finna just be like, I'm just, I just gotta sit down and have a drink after this shit. Okay. I know y'all finna, I know y'all finna tell me about this in the comment section because I cannot. I don't know what. Who is this Pisces? What's going on here? The six of coins. Hmm. Tell me about the six of coins, here, spirit. No. Some about fireworks. Okay, if a child got a firework, now go ahead and get that from that child. Now go and watch that child now. <laughs> Real talk. How you get that from? All right, bees could be significant. Ladybugs as well. Tulips. All right. Okay. Page of Cups and Seven of Swords. I'm telling you, somebody go watch watch your child now. Okay, I'm telling you, you got the Seven of Swords with the damn Page of Cups. That's a, that's like a child being sneaky and doing some shit that y'all, children, Lord. They need to take care of their children. No, it ain't that. That's not the Keep energy. Calm your nerves. Calm your nerves, little diviner. Okay, I got this. <laughs> Chill out and do your work over there. No, legit. No, I don't know. They could have been for somebody. <laughs> nah. What I'm saying is the Seven of Swords is sneaky. Oh, shit. And this is going to... Oh, my God. Listen. You got the, the Knight of Swords with the Seven of Swords here. The Knight of Swords is fast action. That's, that's, that's like... Your homegirl call you and be like, hey, yo, these hoes trying to beat me up or something like that. And you hop down real quick, like in your car. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, before you even think about it, you in the car and you about to go to jail now. Because why you why you getting up out your bed to go fight some grown ass person in the middle of, you know what I'm saying, type energy. <laughs> real talk though. I'm telling you, that's what the Knight of Swords makes me think of. Like, I'm just like this damn Queen of Swords here, how she like, I'm telling you. The Ten of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. It's something here about knives, fireworks, just, and a street. I saw a car as well, y'all. Anyway, what's the lie about spirit? What Pisces needs? What they need? What Pisces need to do? Let's just do that because this is getting kind of. I don't want to. Mm -mm. It's like some the, the luck. All of this is whoa. Okay. Damn, five of cups on the bottom of the deck. What's, what's the advice for Pisces, your spirit? Chickens could be significant, all right? Might wanna look up with the significant, or rooster, all right? The year of the rooster, all right? Come on now, spirit, what's this? Uh, <laughs> give me some advice for Pisces. I don't, I wanna, uh-uh, I don't wanna see no more of this, please. <laughs> Ten of cups, okay. <laughs> Come on, more good energy. <laughs> what does Pisces need to do? It's something here about support, though. Okay. Some advice for Pisces, spirit. Whoa. Whoa. The Queen of Pentacles is on her head. 
she fell out in the reverse. Advice for Pisces, please. You're gonna you okay listen it's something here i feel like you're the outside party pisces i feel like it's something here i don't know if you're a counselor or just an empath or your shit you got you, people just like to talk to you or oh, this could be a situation right thousands of, of pisces that we reading for right <laughs> the whole planet i feel as though it's something here about you may have to um give support to someone the queen of coins on her upright uh, whatever <laughs> the queen of coins upright though that's mama right that's uh, that's that's nurturing loving energy she got her baby in her hand she nurtures it right okay something about the original because i was just thinking about the original tarot deck again it's something about going back or something going back to the basics of some pisces i don't know all right but the queen of, of pentacles um, is like a mom that is distraught or something, okay? All right? Or a mother, a parent, okay? All right? This could be a man as well, all right? Just in his upside down queen of coins energy. So just put the energy where it go, all right? And But you got the three of, of cups on the side, like something here about helping someone change their energy, okay? Uplifting their spirits, being supportive, right? Okay? You might take them a cake or something, okay? Or something like that. I'm telling you now. Spirit, what this is here? Now, give me some advice for Pisces, please. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be very significant. What is? It's not the right time for what, Spirit? Cause they this card just says it was like, "Hello, Blue." Hi. What you talking about? Now is is not the right time. Hold on. What? It's not the right time for what? Whoa, you got the, I don't know. I don't even know how to take it. It, it came like this. I mean, but it, it fell out like that. It's definitely a resolution though. The five of wands in the reverse is, that's conflict resolution. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's like, I don't know. You might be a counselor. You could be a tarot reader, whatever. The high priestess is, that's us. It's, you know what I'm saying? Tarot, she literally got that in her lap okay or some say the torah but um it's sacred knowledge in her lap okay it's like you know something here okay the high priestess and the high um um the hierophant they're like the spiritual leaders the spiritual counselors right the priests the the pastor whoever put the energy where it go the counselor psychologist i don't know who you are okay you could be in healthcare. i don't know pisces all right but it's conflict resolution here. And it's something here about you giving love to someone and just supporting them in this time here. I'm gonna take that as confirmation, all right? Okay, Pisces, 10 of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I love y'all so very much. If you want to get your own personal reading, you wanna tap further into this reading, um, yeah, look down in the description box. My link is down there, it's super easy. <laughs> All right, if you need to pay a different way other than PayPal, just email me, bluephoenixtgg at gmail.com. That's B L U Phoenix <laughs> TGG at gmail.com. All of that information is down in the description box, along with some good reads, some good books, my favorite tarot decks, um, and other stuff, social media links, and all that good stuff. All right. I love you, Pisces. Don't forget to share your planet, my darling. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.